Hey everybody, this isn't exactly happening in chronological order, this first little chunk here, um, but I just wanted to tell you that a huge monumental announcement is coming on Wednesday. Wednesday this week, the 22nd of August. 11 a.m. Central Time, um, something big is going to be revealed. So you want to make sure you're subscribed here to my channel. Make sure your bell notification is turned on. I could not be more enthused to tell you what's going on. My video on my channel Wednesday is going to share so much. Just all the ins and outs of the project I've been working on. There's just this little element of disbelief in me as I talk about this. I think it's when something has been under wraps for so long it just feels weird to speak out loud about it finally. But no, something or some things are gonna be revealed on Wednesday and I really hope you enjoy. I just feel the need to say a massive thank you to everybody who has shown me so much support here on this channel over the years. I mean it's been a long time. It's been going on 11 years come this November that I've been on YouTube. There are some of you who have been with me for a long long time but even if you've just recently stumbled upon me and you've taken time to watch my videos, comment, um, subscribe, share it with your friends. I am so insanely thankful for you because you're the reason why this feels like a family here on this channel and feels just like a really tight-knit group of wonderful people here. It's because of you. It's what you've brought to the table. You inspire me so much. You bring me fantastic video ideas. They're uplifting to me but also one another and I'm really grateful and it's definitely 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 not getting past me that a huge opportunity that's come my way is the result of you and you being there for me and throwing your love into this channel right along with me. So I appreciate you more than you know. I really do. So yeah, Wednesday is going to be a huge 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 day um, in my world and I'm so grateful that you'll be a part of it. Good morning everyone. Everyone. It is Friday. Um, Belle and I are getting ready to go to the preschool orientation. It's just like a little one hour thing, just mostly for the parents' benefit about picking up, dropping off, whatever things we need to know. I know nothing. I feel so for it. I don't even know where I need to park. We did have an open house earlier this past week where she got to see the classroom and her teacher, and she seems super nice, so I think this is going to be great. It was so cute. She was a little standoffish at first when she got in the room, like she sort of did her hug my leg, semi hide behind mommy thing. And then once she realized how many toys were in this room, she just started running around and seeing everything as fast as possible. We're gonna do that this morning and Bub's gonna be here with uh, Biddy. Bub's doing a little work from home right now, I think. Or maybe he's just, I don't know, looking at YouTube. I don't know. Uh, I'm working <laughs> and upgrading our office as of yesterday to a cloud-based file server. It's gonna be a productivity game changer. Great. Meanwhile, these two, they like to have one on one side of the house, one on the other. So, you know, things can be pushed through windows and somebody can be on the receiving end. You know what I mean? Hi. I'm here from preschool and orientation. So, 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 so excited. So, Nugget, how was orientation earlier? It was good. We had fun. Did you meet Abby? Yes, Abby. What are you working on now? We're working on dessert. So basically to sum up this day, we went to the orientation and I filled out a bunch of paperwork. I thought I already did a lot of paperwork, but this was even more. I think a lot of people did take kids so they could sort of familiarize themselves a little bit more. Um, with the space and whatnot. After that, we had to pick up a few things from Walmart. We grabbed some lunch from the new Culver's, which was yummy. Did you enjoy your lunch today? Yes, it was very good. Biddy, did you like your lunch? Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger was good. And um, shortly after that, it was nap time. So that's sort of the sum up here. We've been playing little people like it's going out of style. We're setting up villages and whatnot all over the living room floor. What are you fixing now, Nugget? I'm fixing a fruit salad. A fruit salad, excellent. Yep, just stick it in the microwave and I think it'll be perfect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three gifted technicians. 
JB Weld and a wire. JB, 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 JB Weld and a wire. Mommy's putting together um, the microwave. Mommy's gonna do it. Mommy's gonna do it. This should be fixable. This should, this should, this should be fixable. Mommy's gonna do it. Mom Mommy's gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy, and thanks a lot for letting me go to the orientation today. <laughs> no. Don't you want to just watch a movie? Please, we watch Lady and the Tramp. We have time, okay? Oh, hi. Hi, how's your day going, bub? It's going quite well. I really haven't, haven't done a whole lot of note. Shh, we escaped. We're watching cartoons in bed. It just seemed like the right thing to do. It got all cloudy outside. It looked like it could rain. And we decided to watch Bubble Guppies. Okay, everybody, I got a little Aldi Haldi here. <laughs> I got a two pack of collapsible cubes that I'm gonna put inside a little kind of storage chest thing. I thought it'd be good with school starting if um, Nookie's bringing home various things. Hi, Mickey, that I need to save or something. Got some salad, some grapes, these cinnamon apple straws. Um, the ladies really like the veggie straws, so I thought maybe they'd like the apple ones too. Got some tomatoes. Both kids adore tomatoes. Um, two things of eggs, because we're going to hard boil some, right, bub? Tortilla strips. I got those for when I'm making my salads, because I tend to like a crunch. Some crispy rice cereal, some prosciutto. A lot of this stuff is with bub in mind, because he is eating keto styles and thought he might enjoy this uh, grilling cheese. It uh, has a lot of protein. It has fat. It is not high in carbs at all. I got some beef because I'm going to be making some crock pot chili. We love this salmon. The flavor is so good. Bub, didn't uh, you love that salmon? Got a pork tenderloin, some cheese. Again, this is for Bub here. Um, some yogurts for me. Some neat little hummus and uh, pretzel duos there. Some milk. Uh, these pouches, Biddy loves these, especially at breakfast time. These little journey pouches, they are organic. I got probably a dozen of them. She likes 
any of the kinds. Some raisins, just because those little boxes are easy to like pop in your purse if you need a little snack. Some coffee. We have no problem with the Aldi coffee, right? No, none whatsoever. Pretty good. And then these are kind of fun. These mini pizza crusts. It does come with sauce packets, and then you can add whatever toppings you want. But they're kind of fun. Nookie gets a kick out of making those sometimes for lunch. So that is my Aldi haul, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, it was very much fun. Did you enjoy, bub? Yes. I also wanted to show you guys, I got these um, perfect pantry little like basket things with handles that can go into your cabinets. And as you can see, I haven't had the chance to really get this system in place just yet, but the spice organizers actually ended up being a little bit deep for my cabinets, so I had to use some of these other ones. That's as far as I've gotten so far, is the spice area. I should have taken a before picture because this was a real mess earlier, but um, you can just pull them out and then, you know, easily see everything that you have. And yeah, it's looking a lot better than it did. I just have this little thing cut off here to hold pouches of seasoning things and then you know sometimes you buy your seasoning and they're in these massive plastic bottles so I've got a lot of those over on this side but overall I think I've improved things because it was really jumbled before but like up here is another situation where I've got like sprinkles and cake decorating type things and I feel like I could help that area I may even wind up using some of these in the fridge <sighs> look at that hair Back. We got these two crazy kids watching Aladdin. Okay, we got an hourglass, scattered light, glitter eyeshadow. Very cool packaging. Like Gold toned. Several different ones. Oh, we got Aura. All right, I'm gonna try this out. Our lighting's not as great because it's evening time. Pretty nice. Goes on smooth. Wait, are you calling her Nazbu now? We also have a pile of laundry waiting to go into the washer. That's real life. They never go back in as easy as they come out, do they? Got it. Right. Oh, this is looking cool. Camila Cabello line. Oh, isn't that fun packaging? Bright, flowery. Atlanta. Oh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> something about East Atlanta. I got a flash liner. I don't know what that is. Bunch of stuff in here. Sunlit bronzer, eyeshadows, look at the glitteriness of that one. Hey! So if people have been paying attention, they would know that you already reviewed the uh, lip glosses. So, kind of all the same stuff, but just varying shades, colors, shapes. Lip do, were they any good? Didn't love them. Didn't love them, okay. Well, then I'm not gonna waste my time. Sunlit bronzer, let's see what we end up with here. It's hard to tell the difference. Face could just be a little dirty. So I painted in these shorts a while back, so they're kind of my everyday play clothes, swashing shorts. A nice little pouch too for whatever you want to use it for. Probably to keep the makeup in would be the best thing. Thirsty work. Oh, all right, got a big old pumpkin pouch from Good Cosmetics. That's the word for that, like a chameleon -y. Neat color, how about that? Oh, is this a flip book? Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's even better if you go back to front. That's dope. I've never, I've seen flip books. I've never used a flip book like that before. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't even care about this. That's I'm buying it. I'm in. So recommend. Take my money. You got any more flip books? Oh, okay. I, I unboxed the original CC mat. I remember that now. Now so I got more shades. Now we've got all the shades. I assume it's all the shades or most of them. I'm just gonna keep this flip book for myself. Hey Nookie, you wanna see a flip book? You see it moving? Yeah, it's cool. Well done, well done It Cosmetics. If anybody else wants to make any flip books, we will take all of them. Who, me? Yeah, you. Is that the name? Oh. Thanks David, nice to know you're paying attention. Sticker there from uh, Reese. Reese? 
Greece. Yeah, Greece. <laughs> well, I, Greece. I, knew, I knew Greece. What's her name? Rizzo. Pink ladies. Uh, I could put that on my laptop. Oh, and you get a pink ladies patch. You can even get a jacket and iron that in. Pink ladies wrapping paper. Collector's edition eyeshadow palette. I don't believe I know anything about Sola look. Pretty well put together. Really nice looking thing. I don't want to touch it. It just seems so perfect. Blonde pineapple. So pink. Peachy keen. Beauty school. Jelly bean. Frosty palace. Heartbreak. Electrifying. Summer loving. And too pure. That's Frosty palace. Here's heartbreak. Seems pretty smooth. Ooh, that's vibrant. Pink ladies. I just like the way it's all put together and presented. It's really well done. Her vital elixir. Recovery serum for face and eyes. Murad, is that a you? Murad. Whoa, ho, ho, what do we got here? Oh. Oh, there's a bottom that was, that's broken off, it looks like, in transit. Supposed to be like this. Murad. Can I get that? You have it? <laughs> this looks very interesting. There's little balls in there. They're just little balls. And so you can tell there's air space in there. I'm wondering like how it gets pulled up. Do you have to crush all the a... balls before it starts to come out? Does it being in ball form keep it fresher? You, there's an info sheet over there, bub. Yeah, but it's more fun to just guess. I gotta squeeze some out, right? Oh, well, it comes right out, but it looks nothing like the balls. I'm pretty sure I only pumped that once. And it came, boom, one nice full amount out. Like that sucker was primed. Like I got more than I need in my forehead a little bit. Nookie, where you at, hon? Okay. Alternate theory, where the balls merely aesthetic and there's another layer of glass inside of them and underneath them. Let's look at the info sheet. It's got caffeine in it and marijuana, apparently. No, they don't address the balls. They do not address the balls at all. What's on the back? Wait. Nothing about the balls nowhere. Not nobody, not no how. This is a mystery. And I didn't see anything move on the bottom. Like, there's no little plunger on the bottom. I screwed the top one. The top comes off. Benny Betts. The balls are moving. Oh, so there's a liquid amongst the balls. And maybe the balls cause the liquid to float up. I think we're gonna have to follow up on this later. Nuzzle, nuzzle, oh my god. Can you say big announcement? A big announcement. Wednesday. On mommy's channel. Very good, thanks.